Hello everyone, my name is the Digital Worm and today we'll have a look at Android Oreo running on the Nokia 2 and specifically the new Android Oreo beta build which is build 1.15M and today we'll just have a look and see if it's stable or not and we'll do a little uh, performance comparison. Not really a comparison but just a test. So anyways going to about phone. Uh, you can see uh, it's running the July 1 patch and of course Android 8.1 and of course scrolling down on the notification center is a lot smoother now I mean there's hardly any lag now and the, the app drawer situation is of course the same it's a lot smoother there's less micro studiers and overall it's a much more pleasant experience on the home screen starting off the performance test we can see I have no applications in recent apps and we'll just open up Chrome and as you know, Chrome is uh, the web browser for Android and we use it daily, so it's fair to compare it on the, this low-end device. So as you can see, it's performing quite well, resumed right where I began. Of course, I'll just switch to another tab to see if it remembers my place. And there you go, it just re resumes wherever I left off and that's a nice thing. I mean, RAM management is a lot better now, but we'll have a look at that later. So for the short term, Chrome is very smooth. Moving on to Gmail, it's also a rather smooth experience. Going on to the Compose view, you can see it's not that different and takes a while to load, but it works completely well, if you ask me. As you can see, I'm just typing random stuff in, and as you can see, it saves as draft really fast. Moving on to viewing an email, it's also relatively fast, but it does not load any images. But if you're just using it to read emails, I think it's an okay experience. Moving on to Twitter, there's a little bit of lag opening up the application, but when it does open, it works relatively well. And there you go. All the features in Twitter work, like polls and viewing photos, videos, etc, etc. And it's overall a pretty nice Twitter viewing experience apart from a little lag here and there. And as you can see it's really smooth, really really smooth in fact for this kind of hardware. So if you're using this device to use Twitter I think it's a really pleasant experience. Moving on to Reddit, we I'm using the sync client for Reddit and it's performing much better than Twitter in fact but there's a stutter here and there when opening up the subreddit view and we'll just pick a random subreddit, android subreddit for example and as you can see it loads up really fast and I could just uh, upvote and downvote and use all normal uh, reddit features in this application without any well, major implications on the Nokia 2 moving on to the new camera interface we can see that it's using a better interface than last time. We have got these options on the side which allow HDR flash, timer and beautify mode. And of course the toggle to switch to video mode in the corner. And you can see in the hamburger menu you've got all the options from previously but in the video view you can see you've also got features like time lapse and slow motion which is pretty surprising for a phone of this price so yeah that's the new camera interface moving on to gaming we uh, I've just installed real racing free on this phone and it performs quite well I mean quite well in the fact that this is a very low-end device and you should not even use it to play light games and this is a very heavy game but I just want to text the processor and see if this RAM and storage configuration can keep up with at least some modern games and I have to say I'm pleasantly surprised uh, there was a little bit of lag while the toast popped up but overall if you're if you're asking me it's a really nice experience and maybe it, it's also coming close to some flagships except from that small screen so I'll just leave it for you guys to take a look and judge for yourself
As you can see, completing the race gives off a little bit of lag, but overall, if you're using this phone for playing this kind of game, it's a great experience. Okay, moving on to Minecraft. Um, I'm using an older version here because I don't have a legit copy of Minecraft. I mean, I did not buy it. So, yeah, this is version 0 0.16.2 and it's performing quite well. Note that I had to disable fancy graphics or else this phone would literally buckle up and stop running anything until I rebooted the phone. But if you tune down the settings, it actually performs quite well. And I mean, you can do all the basic Minecraft features like building stuff and if you're using your phone for just that Minecraft world, it's a okay. code. It's okay. As you can see, I will try to kill the sheep right there. Of course, it's not really that laggy to be honest. And if you're just using it to play Minecraft, it's an okay experience. Just jumping in the pool there's hardly any lag so it's an okay experience moving on to Terraria as you can see I've loaded it up and uh, we'll just start with my character right here and load up a really big world it's the expanded world of Terraria and it takes a while to load but when it does load it performs relatively well I mean in the sense that this is a really low-end device this can see even with many objects present on the screen uh, the game performs relatively well and if you're just using this device to play these kind of sandbox games like uh, minecraft or terraria uh, it's an okay experience apart from the few crashes here and there due to the lack of ram So yeah, now we'll move on to the multitasking capabilities. So with a gigabyte of RAM, you cannot expect much, but we'll start off with Gmail here. And if it does resume to the place where I left it last, then I'd say it's an okay experience. As you can see, it left me up exactly where I went off. We'll just switch to the second app we launched, which is Chrome. And yeah, it still left me where I went, which is a good thing, the Nokia website. And we'll just go up to, of course I won't test out the games because I know it won't load and YouTube has reloaded. So yeah, you can't expect much from a gigabyte of RAM, even with Android uh, Go Edition optimizations. Moving on to uh, Twitter, you can see it kind of looks like it reloaded, but actually it's actually loading from RAM, ZRAM to be on, uh, exact, and it just reloaded to where I came from. And lastly, we'll check out Sync, Reddit for Sync to be exact. It gives me this black screen, but eventually it will load back up, which is a good thing. And exactly that's where I left it so yeah if you're just using social apps I think the multitasking capabilities of this phone is actually adequate so yeah that's my take and performance review of the Nokia 2 running on Android Oreo and if you have any questions leave them in the comment below like subscribe and don't forget to check out my other videos and as always peace